Good morning. It's Monday at the Monarch Beach Resort, and this is your Monarch Monday Mulligan. I'm Seth Glasgow, standing with you on the putting green. Um, I'm just going to share some information with you on this particular segment. Um, in the past, I've done instructional uh, segments talking about chipping. Um, green side shots. Uh, by definition, if you go to the golf dictionary, it's going to come, you're going to look up chipping, and it's defined as a low running shot. We're looking for maximum ground time, minimum air time. You want to get your ball onto the green and let it run the rest of the way. Now, we have a, a saying that we adhere to putt when you can, chip when you must, and pitch when you absolutely have to. Don't throw the ball in the air unless, unless it's really required. The golf course would tell you when you need to throw the ball in the air. If you've got a bunker or a tree or a pond in front of you, the golf course is saying you better go over this. But if you've got nothing but grass, run that sucker up. Now, to that end, I want to talk to you about club selection. I see this time and time again. I talk to my students, I say, let's go do some chipping, and they grab this club, okay, the 60 degree wedge. Now, I ask you, with, when I attach this little hoot nanny here and I put that club shaft at, at vertical, does that look like a club that's designed to hit the ball low? It doesn't to me. My first inclination is this is going to make the ball go high. So if I insist upon using this club, I've got to make so many setup manipulations to de-loft the club to give me the run out and roll that I need that I just don't think it's worthwhile. So all I'm asking you to do here, I'm imploring you, please entertain the thought of using a less lofted club. I know that our players, our heroes on TV, like to throw the ball at the hole and make it stop. But unless you've got a tour player looking back at you every morning when you're looking in the mirror, you might want to embrace overspin. That's still spin, but it's tumbling to the hole. And that's okay. That's the way they used to play in the, in the good old days. So let's, let's open our minds here to the concept of running our ball to the hole. Let's hit some bump and runs, and let's make some pars. Okay? Let's put this guy away until we need to hit the ball up. That said, I'm Seth Glasgow. It's Monday. It's the Monarch Beach Resort, and that's your mulligan.